Hello all, we shall now discuss the isolation of alkaloids under the heading isolation of natural products. How alkaloids are uh, uh, isolated from plant materials. Now uh, you may be knowing that alkaloids are nitrogen containing compounds. They are alkaline basic in nature. All right, and. Uh, not all plants will be having all alkaloids and not all alkaloids will be present in a particular plant and uh, not every plant material will be having the same alkaloids in the same quantity also it will differ so you have to choose the plant material and the plant part accordingly to get good yield of the uh, natural product now coming to the uh, brief explanation to the isolation of alkaloids now, alkaloids can be separated or extracted by different ways, two to three ways. We shall discuss that. Now, one way is take the plant material, you defat the plant material using petroleum ether. That is, you treat the plant material to remove fat. Okay, uh, lipids, fats, etc. will be removed. So, that is called defatting. After that, you moisten the plant material and make it alkaline using sodium carbonate or potassium carbonate or ammonia. You can even use calcium hydroxide. Okay, by uh, you are making it alkaline, the defat, defatted plant material is made alkaline. When you do this, when you treat the plant material with this uh, base, you get the fr a crude free alkaloids. A mixture of alkaloids will be obtained. Okay, that will be crude in the crude form, not in the pure form. This is then extracted using chloroform or ether or methylene chloride. That is using an organic solvent. Then yeah, the alkaloid is taken. I mean, uh, alkaloid is uh, extracted in the organic solvent comes uh, alkaloid goes into the organic solvent this is then concentrated under vacuum okay that is so you remove the solvent uh, as much as possible and then shake it with sulfuric acid dilute sulfuric acid shake the extract with dilute sulfuric acid remember you had made it alkaline all right then you get two layers, an aqueous layer and an organic layer. The organic layer will be having pigments and if ever any fat is present and also chloroform soluble uh, alkaloid will be, uh, will be present in the organic layer. In the aqueous layer you get the acidic uh, alkaloid salt that will be the acidic solution which will be having the alkaloid salt. Okay, now what we do is we will take this aqueous layer and then uh, treat it with alkali again. Okay, and then after making it alkaline, you treat it with uh, organic solvent, extract it with uh, organic solvent. The way you have done it here, the similar way, the second step and the third step, similar way you, you know, treat the alkaloid salt. And then again, you get two layers. You take the aqueous layer and an organic layer is obtained. The uh, organic layer will be having the alkaloid basis. You remove the solvent under reduced pressure. You get the crude alkaloid mixture there. And this is then subjected to uh, chromatographic method to get pure alkaloid, to separate the alkaloids from the crude mixture. You get different layer, different uh, alkaloids. <clears throat> by chromatography, you can get by chromatography, you can go for column chromatography or uh, gas chromatography or vapor phase chromatography, okay, depending upon your uh, alkaloid and the, uh, your convenience. So, this is one method. In the second method, instead of the uh, uh, extraction, defatting, this, the first method that is Instead of defatting the petroleum either, you directly extract it using ethanol, methanol or isopropanol, that is alcohols. So the defatting method is, uh, uh, step is not done here. You take the plant material, extract it using either of these alcohols and then make it alkaline and uh, treat it with organic solvent and then continue. All right, all these steps will be done. That's the second method of extraction of alkaloids. Now, coming to the third method, 
In the third method, the plant material is taken and then it is extracted using acidulated water or alcohol. What you do is the way you are you are doing solvent extraction. You, we are doing solvent extraction same way. You take a acidulated water that is acidic water or alcohol, uh, shake the plant material in it, so the uh, alkaloids will come out. The free alkaloids will come out into the water or the alcohol. Okay, and then this crude alcohol, alkaloid is extracted using uh, chloroform. You get the extract. This is then, uh, this extract will be having two layers. One is the organic layer, which will be having the fat or uh, pigments or other unwanted con constituents. And you have the aqueous layer, which will be having the free alkaloids. This aqueous layer is then subjected to further treatment. Aqueous layer is made alkaline again. All right. Again, using the uh, ammonia or sodium carbonate or <laughs> potassium carbonate. And then uh, the alkaloids are precipitated. This is then filtered. You get the precipitate and the filtrate separately. The, you get the precipitate will be having the crude alkaloid mixture. This is then purified by further by chromatography. So, these are the methods of extraction of alkaloids from plant materials. This is just a brief explanation. Uh, just go through books, you get more in detail explanations. So, you've got three ways by which you can extract alkaloids from plant materials. Hope it's clear to you. Thank you.